The Tragedy of Puddinhead Wilson, a novel set in the fictional town of Dawson's Landing, Missouri, intertwines the fates of two infants, one enslaved, the other free, in the antebellum South. The story explores themes of identity, honor, and the consequences of societal constructs such as race and class. The novel opens with the arrival of David Wilson, an intelligent young attorney who hopes to establish his practice in Dawson's Landing. Wilson quickly earns the nickname Puddinhead because of a misunderstood joke which causes the townspeople to question his intelligence. In parallel, Roxana, a light-skinned enslaved woman, gives birth to a son named Valet de Chambre, or Chambers for short. Her master, Percy Driscoll, has a child of similar age named Thomas a Beckett Driscoll, known as Tom. Roxana, often referred to as Roxy, realizes that her son and Tom are physically indistinguishable, except for the fact that Roxy's son is legally a slave due to having one thirty theft black ancestry, according to the laws of the time. Fearing the harsh future her son may face if sold down the river because of his enslaved status, Roxy decides to switch the infants, ensuring that her son will live a life of freedom and privilege. Thus, the real Tom grows up as a slave called Chambers, while the fake Tom, Roxy's son, grows into a spoiled heir to the Driscoll fortune. Unaware of his true parentage, Roxy continues to stay close to both boys as their nanny, and as Tom grows up, he becomes spoiled, arrogant, and cruel. Puddinhead Wilson, meanwhile, becomes an odd hobbyist, developing an interest in fingerprinting, which he uses to collect the prints of various town residents. His fascination is considered eccentric, and his potential as a lawyer is wasted until two Italian twins, Luigi and Angelo Capello, arrive in town. The twins quickly become social celebrities. Tom, envious of the attention they receive, begins a rivalry with Luigi that eventually leads to violence. Tom later falls into debt because of gambling and theft, forcing Roxy to reveal her secret to him in order to manipulate him into helping her avoid being sold down the river. Tom agrees to help his biological mother, but he plans a devious scheme to repay his debt by robbing and murdering his wealthy uncle. The plan goes awry, and the innocent Luigi is accused of the murder due to circumstances orchestrated by Tom. During the trial, Puddinhead Wilson presents a case based on his collection of fingerprints, showing that Tom's fingerprints match those at the crime scene. Wilson's expertise, previously ridiculed, now proves valuable in solving the murder and exonerating the Capello twins. Tom's true identity as a person with black ancestry is revealed in court, and he loses all rights and privileges, including his freedom. Thus, Chambers is restored to his rightful place in society, although his years as a slave have not prepared him for the responsibilities of his new status. In a dramatic reversal of fortunes, Tom, once the master, becomes Chambers, the slave, and is sold down the river, while the real Thomas Driscoll assumes his rightful position. Wilson's success in the trial establishes his reputation as an ingenious and skilled lawyer, turning his previous ridicule into respect, and he is even elected as mayor. The twist of fate reflects Twain's dark commentary on the arbitrary nature of identity and the destructive legacy of slavery on both individuals and society. Throughout the novel, Mark Twain utilizes his trademark humor and social commentary to critique the injustices and absurdities of racism and social hierarchy, providing a piercing look into the tragic consequences of human folly and the arbitrary divisions created by society.